Hi guys, I'm British Video Game Nerd here, and this is going to be my 2016 um, game room tour. Or we'll like to call this the Nerd Cave. Even though it's upstairs. Yeah, so um, many people have been begging me to do this. Um, now it's here, the room tour. And there's a lot of stuff to take in, so if you bear with me for the next few minutes, um, you're going to be. For those of you who are already game collectors, you'll be very excited to see what I've got. Alright, without further ado, let's get started with this section. Which is my Wii um, collection right here. A lot of Wii games. Um, uh, you may notice I had to put, turn on my lights because um, there's no natural lighting outside. This is dull as fuck. So. If you see any shadows, then I um, may have to edit this um, to make sort of see, um, visible, but you know, whatever. Yeah, so that's for Wii games. And then my small, but um, just started um, Xbox One games. Um, I only bought this literally a few days ago, or oh, nearly just under a week ago, so um, this is what I got to start with. But one I always want to get is Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront. Play this a lot, especially online. Hero vs. Villains, good stuff. And uh, here's my um, Wii U games. I love my Wii U. I do have um, some of the best of the um, Wii U's got. Um, like Baywater 1 and 2, um, Zelda Wind Waker HD, um, and of course um, Super Mario 3D World. Super Mario Maker, I'm part of my personal favourite a lot, Super Smash Bros. Anybody has a Wii U has to have Super Smash Bros. It's the rule. If you don't have it, then you can see yourself a bloody idiot. Um, then over here, we have some GameCube games. GameCube is quite hard to find these days, so let you go online and spend a stupid amount of money on it, but I'm not that kind of person. I'd rather do it cheaply or sort of in reasonable fair good deal. Um, so, but some already kept over the years. Um, some really good stuff here. And then swooping on, passing from my Dark Shadow, is my um, Sega Saturn collection. Small, but you know, whatever. And yes, I do own a Sonic R. I have to have to give this a go before I can make my own judgment on it, because I know the controller is crap on it, but for some reason many people seem to like it. I don't know why, but you know, it's people's opinion, you can't really diss that. And as you can see, is my PS1 set, which is from here all the way down to here. There is a lot. I have to admit, there's a lot to take in. Yeah, PS1 a lot. Classic stuff. And swiftly on above is my um, oldest console I own, the Atari 2600. The 6 switch um, wood grain version, I think this is the Model 2. Lovely um, Atari logo, still there. I only got like 6 games so far. Again, I tried to buy eBay, you know, spend too much money on certain games. I know some of it can be reasonably cheap, but to be honest, I just couldn't be honest really. Yeah, I'd rather go on the high streets and see if I can find it. It feels like an accomplishment. You find old games like this in the high street. That's a real accomplishment to me. And so we've got a couple of controllers. Yep, so that's my Atari lot. And then we can move and swoop it down. Again, shadows. Fucking bastards. Um, then we move on to the Sega Master System lot. Yeah, and some loose cards as well. Then moving on up, we got my re regular um, DS set and my box for my 3DS. Love that system. Played it a lot, especially when it comes to traveling. And we got some bunch of boxes here. Uh, that's my Wii U, Super Mario Bros. U, and Luigi U set. Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros. with. The GameCube adapter, and then we got my Wii U Pro Control up there, and then swooping on to the um, 
Nintendo 64 um, adapter. Uh, I think it was called um, Bumble Pack. Oh, the Bumble Pack adapter. There you go. Um, my mind is a bit um, little, little at the moment because I just literally woke it up. And we got my Sega Saturn, my Xbox 360 Slim, and then my latest Xbox One. And this is the um, 30th anniversary um, Super Mario Bros. Uh, badges. You can only get this in game if you pre order um, Super Mario Maker. There's some Space Invaders um, glow in the dark shot glasses. And obviously in the back, you can see the um, gun thing for um, it's uh, Link's crossbow drain. You can see through the glare. And then obviously the GameCube adapter and my Turtle Beach Wii U headset. I'm swiftly on, right next to the uh, 3DS um, pouch, uh, carrier pouch, Legend Zelda edition. Love that trifles. And moving on to my amiibo set. Yeah, quite a bit of amiibo. Also, some loose ones. And I'm um, just moving swiftly on to show you what amiibos I got. If you can see it properly. I'm going to have to move in a bit closer. Uh, yeah, I have quite a bit of amiibos. Yeah. Moving on. It's in his bag, which has my Ocarina, my Legends on Ocarina. You already may have seen my Legends on video, so I don't need to get it out. I've had to move it down just for now. Moving on to some random uh, CD stuff like uh, Sonic Generations, um, Plus Edition of CD CDs, uh, Super Smash Brothers, and uh, Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, which you only get. These two you can only get for um, Nintendo Direct. And the rest of them, these are just like PS1 demo discs. And these are my 3DS games. I haven't got a lot, I haven't admit, but... Um, so that I do travel a lot and I can play certain games at a time, so... You know, whatever. But I will update it very soon, just, just um, give me some time. Some these are my couple of Game Boy games, which has the um, Rumble Pack feature on top, which you need to put batteries in, which is a pain in the ass, but you know, whatever. Uh, then, obviously, as you can see, I'm just gonna sort this out a little bit, is my N64 games. Loose cards. Yeah. Some great N64 games here. And above it, it's complete in box, um, Game Boy, camera, and printer. Next to the Majora's Mask 3DS um, collector's box. Okay, that's that for this lot. Moving swiftly on to this shelf, which has some quite a lot of stuff as you can see. Uh, where to begin? But do you know what? Let's go straight to the top. That's what she said. Um, and we got some loose. Um, a couple of loose games, like um, a couple of Xbox 360 Collector's Edition games. Yes, I know I got Fable 3 Collector's Edition, but it was very cheap and, uh, you know, whatever. And then some loose uh, Nintendo games, um, N64 in the box, and then Super Nintendo games in the box. And I have Shack Fu as well, yes, I know. I gotta see what it's like before I can, you know, say anything about it. And then... If we move swiftly down to this angle, you can see a whole bunch of um, Xbox 360 games. Yeah, that's quite a bit. But there's a lot of, a lot of Xbox 360 games that are actually good. Um, yeah, and luckily these days you can actually go on the Cherry Channel and find some decent 360 games for a couple of quid, so that's always good. And probably down here is my PS3 lot. Yep, some PS3 games, um, good stuff as well. Again, if you're lucky enough to go to the charity shop and find for a few quid, then consider yourself lucky. Um, because sometimes they can raise the price a little bit because they know that it's a um, sort of newish sort of generation. I mean, this is a previous generation, so 
don't pay for cheaper deals just yet, but maybe in the next couple of years or so, but yeah, so don't hold your breath. Um, then moving this on to the side is my uh, Dreamcast games. Nice bunch of Dreamcast games there. Um, yeah, I like the Dreamcast. And swift it down is my um, original Xbox or OG Xbox, as some people call it nowadays. Um, bunch of games. Um, and there's a couple of Game Boys on the stands. Uh, the Game Boy Pocket, the original Game Boy Pocket, and the Game Boy Color in purple. Yes, it is purple. I know you can't see purple, but trust me, it's purple. And some more OG Xbox stuff. And then uh, from here, all the way down to two shelves down, is my PS2 lot. I believe I have released over a hundred uh, PS2 games. I mean, you very likely to find these in any shop, pawn shop, cherry shop, or sort of whatever, and you can find like a good, good, good amount of deals. So I'll probably nowadays and maybe catching up um, value-wise, but you know. If you're seeing for you know a couple of quid and a good title, so I say go for it. Um, now this, this is a very interesting thing. What it is, like this up here, is a game called um, Eye of Judgment. Now I saw this in the cherry shop for about three pounds fifty. It came with this um, pack of cards. And it's one of those sort of Yu-Gi-Oh sort of type of games. You put, um, you're supposed to have the PS3 camera. PS3 camera on top here, and it's supposed to lay down on this special mat somewhere, and then you put his cards in, and then uh, sort of magic happens. Looks interesting, but there's two problems. One, I don't have the camera, which is no big deal really, I could get it from nearly everywhere. And the special mat that's supposed to come in the game is missing. Fuck. So I'm gonna have to find those two before I can actually, you know, play the game. Oh well, you can't win in the war times. And then this set here is my PSP games. Uh, if you can see it right, yeah, it's my PSP lot. I do like the PSP, but it's, I don't. I just felt like there's not enough support with it. I mean, if they have a lot more um, support for the system, especially third-party games, um, it would have been alright. But there was just lack of, you know, um, this is a lack of commitment in this system. So while it was gone and about just before you know it it was just gone and the PS Vita may have the same issue as well so of course I don't I'm actually surprised it's actually still going to this day I may be wrong but I don't know and the move slipped me down uh, may have to move out of the way because it's shadow it's um, um board games and uh, as you can see there's a Game Boy game in there um, and the Maniacs there's my NES Advantage. Yeah, great controller there. Some random PC games. And then this thing here, if I can get it out. <sighs> Shoot, um, I'm gonna have to do a swift without dropping my advantage. It is a folder which says there's Game Boy on it. And the main reason is because that's why I keep my Game Boy games on it. Um, yeah, this is how I keep my Game Boy collection. I'm not going to show you all because there's uh, quite a bit in there. But yeah, but I recommend you doing this, guys, because collecting Game Boy is, um, it's pretty um, tricky, especially when you're trying to, you know, place them. Especially, um, if you go in the box, then it's sorted, but when you get in the loose cards, you may have a problem. So I recommend you get a folder and those, um, um, special, um, Slots where you have put your like uh, Pokemon cards or baseball cards or whatever you want like to put them in there, and then there you go, sorted. I'll just leave it here for now because um, it would take a while to put it back in there. Uh, um, okay, before I get to my consoles, you may have seen already, but here's my Legend of Zona Wall for some Zona posters, and uh, this particular poster here, if I can show you a bit of lighting. There you go. It's actually 3D. I know you can't see for the camera because it doesn't show 3D from this camera, but yeah, it is actually a 3D um, poster. Yeah. 
That's a canvas I painted as well, um, made of sort of um, basic gold with a black um, background thing. Shoot. Um, yeah, really happy with that painting. Uh, this is actually a magazine, um, Retro Gamer, in um, the Legend of Zelda um, Collector's Edition of Ocarina of Time. Uh, it's been framed. Because I thought it would be the best way to show you how much of a Zelda fan I am. And my big Majora's Mask poster. And then this um, pixelated art in a frame of uh, the Triforce. And this, um, I can't remember what it's called now, but this strap thing you can put it on your neck um, where you put on like um, concerts or whatever. And it's the Triforce as well. Really, really bad lighting. Oh, here we go. There you go. Uh, right, um, moving swimming on to the consoles. Is where, and a couple more games. Um, and a bunch of all this controllers here. And a couple of Game Boys slash PSP down there. Is my GameCube. If I can move this one. Yep, there you go. There's my GameCube. My lovely conventional GameCube. Very underrated. And then swooping on down. One strap is the Dreamcast. And then actually, there's a couple more set of games I need to show you down here. As you can see, these are Super Nintendo games in this drawer. All European. And I think there's one Japanese game somewhere. Um, oh, here we go. Super Famicom game. That's actually the game of life. As you can see in the background, it is the game of life on the Super Nintendo. How convenient is that? Uh, some more Super Nintendo games, European, and some American Super Nintendo games. And in the back here, my um, Universal Adapter, which I need to play for this, and my Famicom game. And of course, the Super Game Boy. Yeah, the Super Game Boy. Definitely recommend it if you have a Super Nintendo. And the bottom, shelf. It's my NES games, all could be in, um, in order, including the, uh, the Game Genie. Yeah, I'm a cheat, what do you expect? And there's some loose uh, Mega Drive games. There's quite a lot in there. Oh yeah, you can see one of the good ones here, Micro Machines 2. Played out a lot, especially um, the remakes. Yeah, some Mega Drive games here. So, it's all in these drawers, just for convenience. And then, um, swiftly on to my Wii. Everyone knows the Wii. Some controllers, the Wii U Pro controller, some game controllers, and this other Wii controller. And uh, here's my new PS2 Alcoa Blue um, edition. That's my Wii U in there. Um, there's the big chunky PS3, my new Xbox One. Swiftly on to the Xbox 360 Slim and the OG Xbox Crystal Edition. Yeah. Um, and obviously, down here is my um, custom made gaming PC, which is um, also included with Steam. And some other bits of also, and this is why I edit my videos as well. So this baby is my most important machine of them all. Spent quite a lot of money on it, but uh, you know these things happen. With a nice keyboard and uh, this game and mouse, which I think is pretty sweet. Um, uh, as obviously this is my um, HD television with a headset which I record my voice on. It's a bit lame, but that's the only thing I can use right now. Uh, this is why I'm usually I have my old modern consoles um, through blue vision, as you can see. Um, this is why I do have my modern consoles with. Good stuff. And move slightly on to my old CRT television. Yeah, this is a proper CRT television. Um, it supports pretty good, apart from the RF, which now doesn't seem to work, which is a problem because you can see the Atari. Uh, if we can zoom in, the Atari 2600. Ollie does RF, which is a bit of a problem. 
Well, thank God this HD television does support it pretty good, so um, that's the only way you can play Atari is this thing. But no matter, um, and move sleepy down is the. If you could see, I might have to change the lighting this thing because that's the Sega Master System right there, and that's my Model One Mega Drive. And then over across, that's the good old NES, Super Nintendo, uh, my Sega Saturn, and we have the PS1, and finally we have Nintendo 64. And oh yeah, these are my Zelda books displayed um, by using Kinect. Yeah, Kinect, sorry, yeah, Kinect, you know those toy things you can build, kind of Lego but less popular. I've actually turned it into display stands from the books. Mm hmm. Clever, am I? And there's some bunch of um, collectors, um, edition of all random, just regular um, book guides. And related to the one is this uh, Star Wars Battlefront. It's up, and there's some couple of um, Games World Records Gaming Edition books. Uh, and then we're actually going to move him back up here. Where you can see some um, framed sort of posters, Battlefront, have a Battlefront here, some more pixel sort of art from the Mega Drive, Model 2, and the Super Nintendo, and then some more Battlefront, and this giant ass Mario Kart six, uh, Super Nintendo uh, poster. And uh, we'll make this quick some more figurines, Sonic over there, then I got Slimer for the Ghostbusters. And then we have the Batman, and the Joker, and my TARDIS. And over here, another poster, the Animal's Crossing Amiibo Cards poster. I actually got this for free, so don't judge me for, you know, getting this. Um, the Grand Theft Auto 5 um, poster with um, sleeve, and then another Battlefront poster. And then we got Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, posters, the small ones, and then above here, it's a random bunch of 360 college edition set, and then finally is some um, box NES games, and then my Mega Drive collection. As you can see right here, and then finally is uh, a couple of extra bits of bolts. This um, portable. Um, Mega Drive Ultimate Arcade Portable. Um, it was alright, but apart from the sound, the sound is terrible in this thing. It is dreadful. Um, so I would recommend just mute this or I'll just get used to the bad quality sound thingy. But um, the screen, however, is very good, so I'll give you that one. And then the box for my um, capture card, the Elgato HD. If you want to record videos to YouTube, I didn't recommend this. Or the 60 frames per second one. Don't care, as long as um, they both work, don't give it down which one you pick. And that's pretty much the tour, guys. Um, that's all there is. So I hope you enjoyed it. So I know it's a very, very long one. And um, yeah, because like I said, it's a lot to take in. So thanks for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more um, gaming stuff. And you want to see my gaming life like today, I just showed you my entire room. And uh, yeah. And don't forget to like, comment, and favorite this video if you like, uh, if you want. And I will see you all next time. Remember, keep on gaming.